सन उन्नीस सौ तीन हवाई जहाज के इन्वेंशन ने बदल दिया दुनिया के आने जाने का तरीका 2022 वेदांतो लॉन्चेस एआई लाइफ और ये बदलने वाला है दुनिया के सीखने का तरीका इंटरक्टिव क्लासेस टॉप टीचर्स सिर्फ पांच हजार रुपए सालाना उटिस There's a lot of confusion about mitosis, meiosis, what it, what it is, how it happens, what is the difference, etc., etc. Today I'll be giving you a very simple trick to master mitosis and meiosis. So stay tuned. Let us quickly begin the learning. So you all know that my name is Pratesh, and uh, this is some information about I me myself. You can follow me on Instagram at Pratesh underscore Vidantu. That's my Insta handle. So my Insta handle is mentioned right over here. It's a uh, Pratesh underscore Vidantu. You can follow me right there. And this is the homework answers. So I'd ask you that list the organs which have the largest amount of rough endoplasmic reticulum. So it is pancreas and liver set by Tanay Gar. Great job, Tanay. And study to satisfy told pancreas and livers. So liver. So pancreas and liver are the organs that have the rough endoplasmic reticulum. Their function is. the function of the rough endoplasmic reticulum which is a network from the nuclear membrane to the plasma membrane is to remove the toxins to remove the drugs and the poisons from the body that is the function of the rough endoplasmic reticulum and now we talk about plastids now we'll be talking about plastids so remember one thing about plastid please remember one thing about plastids and that is they are present only in plants they are present only in plants and you have plastids of three types one which you all are familiar with that is the chloroplast one that is chromoplast and the other is your leucoplast these are the three different types of plastids when i talk about chloroplast when i talk about chloroplast it is it is present in the plant cell it contains chlorophyll and this chlorophyll is responsible for one is green color of the plants you can see here the green plant and it is also responsible for photosynthesis magnesium magnesium is the metal that enables the chlorophyll to trap the sunlight to carry out photosynthesis magnesium is the material that enables the chlorophyll to trap the sunlight to carry out photosynthesis and then we talk about chromoplast so your red yellow colors come from the chromoplast it is the colorful plastid it is the colorful plastid a green mango becomes a yellow mango or a reddish yellow mango why because chloroplast converts to chromoplast a green tomato becomes a red tomato on ripening why because chloroplast turns to chromoplast so chloro and chromoplast these are the colorful plastids and then you have leucoplast now remember as i told you earlier also biology is all about understanding the meaning of the term leukemia leucoplast leukocytes leukocytes are the wbcs white blood cells leukemia is blood cancer uh, you know when the blood the redness of the blood reduces when it becomes colorless so the word leuco the word leuco signifies white or colorless right so leucoplast are the colorless plastids meant for storage meant for storage storage of food oils etc right they are the colorless plastids they are the 
colorless plastids. So plastids are the cell organelles present only in the plant cells of three different types chloroplast green which becomes chromoplast on ripening a green leaf a green leaf when it is you know dry or when it is about to fall during the autumn that time it becomes reddish so chloroplast becomes chromoplast and leucoplast is for storage of food like it is present in potato it is present in the lemon grass so if you see lemon grass the storage of oil happens in the plastid in the leucoplast so leucoplast is something that stores the oil in lemongrass and we all know lemongrass oil is such a beautiful smelling essential oil right so that is about plastids let's move ahead so they are present only in the plant cells chromoplast leucoplast they store starch oil protein granules chromoplast are the colorful ones and you all know about chloroplast again when i'm talking about chloroplast which is quite a quite an expected question in the exam chloroplast is a double membrane structure structure of the <laughs> chloroplast <coughs> is also super important so chloroplast is somewhat ovulation structure somewhat ovulation structure it's a double membrane right filled with stroma or the matrix this is the outer membrane this is the inner membrane inside the chloroplast you have got thylakoids and they are like a stack of coins attached to each other attached to each other with frets these are called lamellae or frets right so this is the structure of the chloroplast this is the structure of the chloroplast got it then this was all about plastids we further understand that internal organization of the plastid consists of numerous membrane layers embedded in the material called stroma as i told you plastids also have their own dna and ribosomes and that is your homework question for the day that is your homework question on, of the day which cell organelle apart from plastids has its own dna and ribosomes so we know that plastids have their own dna and ribosome there is one more cell organelle there is one more cell organelle that has its own dna and ribosomes what is the answer tell me in the comment section below which is the cell organelle having its own dna and ribosomes right then we talk about vacuoles so vacuoles are the empty spaces what is the meaning of the word vacuole again does this word remind you of something does the word vacuole remind you of something to me it reminds of the word vacuum it reminds me of the word vacuum what is vacuum empty space so what are vacuoles vacuoles are empty spaces vacuoles are empty spaces if they are empty spaces obviously they will store something so what do they store vacuoles store food water and waste food water and waste and i am giving you one more homework question what is what is contractile vacuole what is a contractile vacuole tell me this answer in the comment section below come on guys we need to be experts of biology we really need to be experts of biology and for that we need to learn more and more we need to research more and more and we need to give the answer to the homework questions more and more so tell me in the comment section below that 
which is the cell organelle along with plastid who has its own DNA and ribosomes and also what do you mean by contractor vacuole present in amoeba? I am already giving you a hint. And now we talk of when we talk about vacuoles. So vacuoles are present both in plants as well as animals. But there is a difference. There is a difference. Plants have a huge vacuole. Whereas in an animal cell, there are many small vacuoles. So there will be many small vacuoles in, a, in an animal cell. But there will be a large vacuole in the plant cell. So these are empty spaces to store food, water and waste, right? They are surrounded by a membrane called tonoplast. 100% guaranteed question in the exam. What do you mean by tonoplast? Tonoplast is the membrane of the vacuole. Tonoplast is the membrane of the vacuole. This is super important, right? It's the membrane of the vacuole. Almost 50 to 90% of the plant cell is covered by the vacuole. Whereas animal cell has small, 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 small vacuole. So that is the difference between the plant cell vacuole and the animal cell vacuole. Okay? Again, they store food, water and waste. Uh, in amoeba, there is a food vacuole that helps in digestion of food. I want you to tell me what is the, uh, you know, what is a contractile vacuole in an amoeba. So what do you mean by the contractile vacuole in amoeba? Okay? And now we talk about the most beautiful part of the uh, chapter, that is cell division. You all know that a cell divides for growth. A cell divides for growth, cell divides for repair, cell divides for wear and tear. So what is the reasons for cell division? What is the reasons for cell division? Growth, repair and Wear and tear. These are the reasons for cell division, right? And it is of two types. One is your mitosis and one is your meiosis. Right? Don't get confused. It is the most easiest concept of the chapter. Easiest concept of the chapter. I'll tell you. When you were born, you were this much. Right? And now you have grown this much. Why? It happened because of mitosis. So your growth happens because of mitosis. Definitely when you were, you know, you are still a kid, but when you play in the ground or when you were playing few years back in the ground, you would have hurt your hand or you would have hurt your knee. You would have scratched your skin. Is that scratch on the skin still there? I remember I had scratched my forehead once. Can you see any marks on my forehead now? No. I remember scratching my knee when I was a kid. Are there any scratches on the knee now? No. I remember scratching my elbow once. Are there any scratches on the elbow now? No. Why did it happen? Or where did it go? So the skin repaired itself. The skin repaired itself. And that repair happened because of mitosis. Wear and tear happens because of mitosis, right? So your growth repair or any kind of cell division, any kind of cell division which is non-reproductive, any kind of cell division which is non-reproductive, that is called as mitosis. Your nails growing every time. The growth of the nails, the growth of the hair. Every minute there are cells dying in your body, but every minute new cells are getting born because of mitosis. So in mitosis, 46 chromosomes remain 46. 46 chromosomes remain 46. Skin got torn, new skin came. 46 were there earlier, 46 are there now. Right? Your nail grow. Your nails grow. You grew in height. You grew in body. 46 remained 46. It's not that when you grew from this much to this much, your 46 became 1046. No, the number of chromosomes in each and every cell of your body is 46 only, even when you were a baby and even when you have grown. So when 46 remains 46, that is mitosis. But, but if you are a boy, if you are a boy, each and every cell of your body, each and every cell of your body will have 46 chromosomes. But but your sperm cell will have only 23 chromosomes. 
that is divide by 2 and if you are a girl each and every cell of your body will have 46 but your ovum will have only 23 again divide by 2 so the reproductive cell division reproductive cell division where the chromosome number becomes half the chromosome number becomes half that is called as meiosis and it happens only and only it happens only and only in the gametes only in one place it happens in your body that is formation of gametes so when the chromosome number reduces to half which is also called as reduction and division meiosis ka other name is the other name of meiosis is reductional division reductional division because it reduces the chromosome number to half it reduces the chromosome number to half so 46 becomes 23 in a male sperm 46 becomes 23 in a female ova but here bindas 46 46 no tension hakuna matata right so that is your mitosis and meiosis it's as simple as it is got it if you want you can take a screenshot please i'll just give you a few seconds you can take a screenshot if you want of this and with that we move ahead to the text so we require a uh, cell division for growth repair gametes whatever whatever mitosis meiosis so mitosis happens in all the cells of your body except your germ cells or except the reproductive cells right so mitosis it helps in growth repair number of chromosomes remains the same 46 remains 46 and meiosis uh, 46 becomes 23 46 becomes 23 okay okay so that is about your mitosis and meiosis and now guys let's do a quiz let us discuss some very very easy and amazing questions and then we'll wrap it up so when i talk about the first question plastids pla pla plastids are found in definitely only and only the plants there are three types of plastids Chromoplast, chloroplast, leucoplast. Plastids are the only cell organelles having their own DNA and uh, your ribosomes. Apart from that, you have to tell me which is the cell organelle that has its own DNA and ribosomes. And chloroplast is green, it becomes red or yellow or brown on ripening, which is chromoplast. And your leucoplast are colorless for storage of food, oil, etc. etc. Which of the following cell organelles have their own DNA? So just now I told you it is plastids and there is one more cell organelles having its own DNA which you have to tell me in the comment section below. Apart from that, the type of cell division that occurs in the reproductive organs when you are forming your germ cells or when a male is forming the sperm or the female is forming the ovum, ovum, not ovum, ovum, that kind of a cell division is meiosis. Right? Chalo. Now, if you want to learn from me and all your amazing teachers at Vedantu, whether you want to learn English, Math, Physics, Chemistry, Biology, anything, you can learn, earn, you can learn for only Rs. 4,500 for the entire year. Yes, for only Rs. 4,500, you can learn for the entire year. Right? 4,500 for one year for English, Math, science and sst for grade 9 for the entire year you only have to pay rupees 4500 but you have to put the coupon code p r e p r o so once you put p r e p r o the cost of rupees 5000 will come down to rupees 4500 but mind you this cost is only for the next few days only for next very very few days this cost is there otherwise the cost is going to become almost double so grab this opportunity take the course for one year and start learning with Vedant uh, trust me this is going to be the best decision you are making in 2022 right so uh, one more question I have what would happen if plants have small central vacuoles so what if the plant would have very small central vacuole just like animals animals have big animals have small vacuoles plants have big vacuoles so what if plants also had like animals small vacuole what would happen tell me in the comment section below remember pre pro and guys thank you so much for watching do not forget to give this video a big fat thumbs up subscribe to vedantu 9th and 10th english 
and guys remember hashtag each one get one i'm asking all of you to get just one more subscriber we are a family of 1 lakh 19 thousand proud vedans let us make it 2 lakh 38 thousand asap so i just want all of you to get just one more subscriber hashtag each one get one Right? So thank you so much guys. I hope you enjoyed learning with me. I'll be seeing you again really soon. Take care. Bye-bye.